Maria Anderson, how are you? I'm good. Married to David Carradine. Yes, I certainly was. Really? The third wife or second wife? Um, f number four. Number four wife. I have to think about how it for a second. <laughs> he's been married five times. He was married five times. You're the fourth wife. The fourth wife. Yeah. Although he was with Barbara, they had a baby together. I, I count her as a wife, but technically right, they weren't. Right, so. right, right. You wrote a wonderful book. Thank you. It's, it's a book that everyone's talking about right now. It is called The Eye of a Tornado. David Carradine, The Eye of My Tornado. Of he My Tornado. Was. Wow. Yes. Why did you use was. that word? Uh, he, people who knew David well really get that. Um, David was the, the center of the storm, and, and sometimes he created chaos around him. So I, when I get into a mood, I go, he's the eye of my tornado, just like chaos uh -huh, around uh -huh. him. So it was kind of an inside joke. Interesting <laughs> book. It's uh, yeah, a lot a, in there. A lot of truth. A lot the book it's all has, truth. That's what I mean. It's total truth. Yep. V and fearless, too. Very intense. Uh, there's a lot of candor and humor in there. I, I think I really covered the territory. Um, I felt there was a big responsibility uh -huh. um, in writing the book because this, this is the first book about David other than what he wrote about himself. Right. So uh, I took it very seriously and I wanted to be fair and, and have an overview that was, that was like uh, balanced. Right, right, And I worked right. really hard to do that and to remove myself enough. You grew so. up here in uh, California, Marina? I like for sure. I was born in Burbank. Uh -huh. you know. Here, okay. How did you <laughs> meet David, anyway? We met originally in the 70s. Uh -huh. uh, I was taking acting lessons on the Warner Brothers lot. Ah, uh, you're an actress, too. I'm an actress, uh -huh. too, yes. Uh -huh. uh, and, and so I, I wandered over uh, on a break to one of the sound stages, and it was this just black abyss, and I, all these hundreds of lights and these candles flickering. Right. And I was just, like, drawn into it. And I, you know how sometimes you feel like somebody's kind of, like, staring at you from behind? That's well, cool. I, I turned around and it was David. David. So fast forward after he invited me back, that never happened. Um, I went to Toronto, auditioned for his show, guest star role in, in the mm -hmm. show, and mm -hmm. and uh, I got the the guest star lead on the show. Did you for really that, for uh -huh. that segment? Yeah, and then they had me back. So he um, shot that in Toronto, didn't he? That was Canada? shot in Toronto, right? Yeah, right. The okay. first series, Kung Fu, was shot on the Warner Brothers lot in L.A. Yeah, but Kung Fu Legend Continues was shot in Toronto, yeah. 1992 to 1996. Wow, you've you've known him a long time then. Uh, yes, yes, because uh, I knew Gail too. I knew Gail, wife his wife, three. first wife, Gail I Gail the second wife. I really love Gail. Gail yeah, was a very wonderful talented girl. woman, and she recently she passed away. She managed him. She did it all. She did. She yes, really I did. I knew her. I went to their wedding. Oh, my they, gosh. I went to their wedding at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel. Oh they had it God. on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. But then the reception was at the Hollywood Roosevelt. Oh, my gosh. The second floor. You go way back. Yeah, way back. <laughs> you're right. So tell me something about David Carradine, because I knew him very, very well. I have interviewed him on my TV show. Maybe I got about eight interviews on David. Well, we went to your Monday nights for showcases. That yeah, you fun. used to go to my... Uh, talent night. Yes. David used to go, f first he used to go to the e Little Club in Beverly Hills. Uh -huh. Then I used to go to the Hollywood Roosevelt. I had it there for a while. Well, we, this was Beverly Hills, but, but this I remember. was at the, um, uh, this was the one you went to was, at the, um, what was it? Is it uh, on Rodale. Yeah, no, on Camden. On Cannon. On Cannon. Yes, That's yes, right. yes. Camden, uh, Cam Cannon. 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 Cafe Roma. That's it. The yes. very famous Cafe Roma. It was a lot of fun. Where Schwarzenegger and uh, all those people go. Oh yes. And I did my show there for a while. A lot of fun. But I'm not there long here. I'm at the Machas. I mean, at the um, Mateos. Oh. But okay. anyway, let's talk about this. <laughs> I want to know. I got What's to dish? know about the book because I haven't really got into it because I just got it. Right, you but did. Yes. Yeah, so I'm really. And it's 472 pages. With, so you've got a lot fair. of reading to do. Yeah, I want to be fair. Just tell me about David's dark side. Let's get into oh that. Oh my goodness! Well, dark side, because um, David had a dark side. David had all. He, he was a multifaceted man. Um, the dark side to David uh, was very intense. I I wrote about certain things in the book, and I, I made a very difficult choice to do that. But I felt it was really important for people to know what we went through in the relationship. Was he I'm ever violent with you? Uh, oh, oh, well, towards the end, he got a, a little physical little, with me. Yeah. Um, but not uh, up until mm, shortly before we, we separated. Yeah. Uh -huh. but, um, but I wrote about those things because I'm out there with my things, too. 
Yes. And uh, there was uh, family abuse and issues in my family, and these correlated with certain things about David and I wanted people to see the patterns in the relationship. And right. I, it helped me writing the book, and I felt it was gonna help other people. In fact, I interviewed Dr. Drew Pinsky right. in my book to help answer some of those questions. What and it was like an epiphany for me. Um, it was, it was a, definitely an eye-opener. Um, I gotta read the book, so I won't detail it, because we only yeah. have a certain amount of time. But it really it answered a lot of questions about uh, abuse, um, sexual molestation, Incest. Uh, he did it say was he the had incest. Walk. David was in, he had some incest, right? There's the subject of incest that is brought up in the book uh -huh. in relation to David. Yes. So he really carried on in life, didn't he? Oh yes. Yeah, he <laughs> yes. really gave it, it was, all uh, out there. Definitely the tornado. Yeah. Yeah, but and I want to go b before we do that. I want to talk about um, his journey with you mm. as as a wife. Yeah as a loving wife, because you're a lovely lady. I know I used to see you around town and all these wonderful places. He always loved you, it's gracious. We were, How did we were you, very, you got um, married where? It was a, quite a passionate love story between the two of us. Uh, we got married on Laramie Street in, in Warner Brothers on the back lot uh -huh. where he shot Kung Fu. And we chose that because we met originally at Warner Brothers. And uh -huh. actually, my mother was a contract singer to Warner Brothers, too. Your mother? My mom. Was she an actress? She, no, she was a contract singer. Really? She had the voice. Ah. So, uh, so we chose Warner Brothers. Um, it had a, a Western flavored theme, of course, because of Laramie Street. Uh -huh. And uh, at the end, we had two actors dressed up in the Western garb, and they kidnap me, uh -huh. and they throw me into the white limo instead of a, on a white horse. <laughs> he goes, I want to show this. this charging your, off in the white limo this after This is me. your uh, wedding, huh? My wedding picture. Uh, There's David, of course, and that's uh, is that his, his, brother? his younger brother, Robert. Who Robert, our, what a wonderful guy Robert is. Our best is. man. Fabulous. Wonderful. I adore Bobby. Bobby, you got along good with the brothers. I did. I, I, they, they were like my brothers. Uh -huh. I, I adore them all still. Um, and how about the children? All the children Did are they fabulous. Live with you? All the children are, are so talented. This other generation. So you're of a mother. Well, I felt mother-like to them. You know, uh -huh. I, you know, we didn't have children of our own, so I, I kind of took that, you know, like yeah. they are my kids. Yeah. This is a great picture of David and you. Here. So it was Blackie and Johnny. That was our nicknames Look. for each other. I love this picture. The Look, DJ Awards. Yeah, and where uh, was that taken? That was uh, in night. Oh, that was at the uh, Directors Guild right. Awards. But you know, huh. this David's first dance with you, huh? Husband and that wife? That was our first wedding dance. Your wedding dance there. And he us. wrote a, a song called uh, When Blackie Lets Her Hair Down. And Songwriter, he, guitar he, player. Oh my God, he, he sang in my showcase many musician, times. Musician, composer. So that was the wedding uh, dance song that we uh -huh. had our first dance to uh -huh. was the one that he wrote for me. He's a great songwriter. Oh God, he was brilliant. He uh, just fabulous songs. Did he play the guitar Perfect. around the house? He played the guitar, he played drums, he played the piano. I mean, it wasn't anything he didn't touch that he didn't pick up and play. You uh -huh. couldn't stop him. That was uh -huh. his, his air, you know, just like acting was. When he was working, he was happy and, he, you know. How did you, when you first heard that David Carradine died in Bangkok, mm -hmm. the news, and the way he did it, the way he died, mm -hmm. that's scary. Um, you you it, it know that is a strange way of dying. These young kids are mm. these young kids are experimenting all these things. Well, I um, that's an experiment. It, it, it's horrific. Uh, I, I I do take that on in the book. I investigated his death myself because I I didn't agree with what was um, put out there in the press, and I felt he was exploited. So I um, you believe he was murdered? No, <clears throat> there's definitely foul play, and I believe there was intentional. Um, behind it. So yeah, I believe he was murdered, yeah. You discovered that, did he have a watch there? Mm. Did he have money? Well, there was did a they find all that? Th there was a lot. Because he, ra he ran around with she-boys, she-boys. Well,